Yo, I'm channeling my inner Nipsey today, man. Neighborhood shit, man. Say that. You All right, saying? don't get a shot though. Nah, we ain't, nah, we get a shot, man. They get, look, man, they got respect for Nipsey, man. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, Truthfully, they don't nah, know nah, you, though. nah, I ain't gonna lie. Truthfully, <laughs> the reason why I'm wearing this hoodie for those who's watching the video is it's that my, my apartment is, is kind of cold, and um, we suing the landlord in a couple weeks. So, <laughs> <laughs> nah, what's up though, who man? You, who you gonna have to defend you? Myself. Oh, okay. Um, okay. You should read um some Johnny Cochran and shit. Mm. Watch his interviews before you go. Nah, it's a closed case. We paying rent. We got no heat. <laughs> we win, nigga. The okay. Fuck? All right. Um. How am I? I'm good. I'm good. Mm-hmm. I've been I've been getting more in tune with myself past couple of days, weeks. Not not to make it sound like that. Why so specific? Because I feel like just like getting to know me. Your mission even, already. I mean, it has, but it's like you lost your way. Barriers, no. I no no no. Mm. Never lose my way. All right, make it sure, my nigga. Never lose my way. Never make it sure you on your my, P's and my Q's, my no. nigga. You... I'm saying like, all right. You know, growing up, when you're in like a certain predicament, certain environment, you be like, oh, this happened, or something will cross your mind. Like for example, like oh, this happened, but I don't feel like saying. I don't feel like doing this right now because of. Too many people around. I want the attention, or somebody may what say you mean, something. Like addressing no an issue, if not addressing an issue. No, right. that's different. Just like putting yourself more out there, I would say. Like, all right, I'll give you examples. Yeah, Growing please, up, because you having a hard time. With <laughs> you. <laughs> and that's a funny thing that they say about uh, intellectual people. They have really hard times explaining shit, which is weird. There's so many words going on in your head. True. And my head is pretty big. That's what she right. said. That's what she said. You wasn't supposed to agree. But, um, all right. So, growing up, like, for example, in the classroom, um, like, damn. Yeah, you losing it. Some, uh, <laughs> It's like, because I'm trying to find, like, a good example. All right. So... All right, perfect example. All right, let's do it. First day of class, it's in the lunchroom, it's mad people, mm-hmm. first day of school, whatever, right? And you hear people talking about something that you're familiar with, but that anxiety of it being the first day, it's like, don't I don't really up. know them, they don't really know me, I ain't trying to speak up. Right. I'm going to play it safe. Feel niggas out. Right. That. So basically, that in multiple scenarios like throughout okay. life because me i'm very strategic like all right me i'm strategic at times okay. like i don't need to always speak i don't need to always assume attention assume the room i don't need these things right but when i say i'm being more in tune with myself it's like whatever come to my mind now i'm gonna say it that's dangerous it is dangerous <laughs> But I've been doing it you majority. Fat, <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's why you got to play it fucking safe. Because you know Second my mouth. Dangerous. Well, our mouth. They say birds of a feather, right? But yeah, we some assholes. But um, I would never like, say that. I would never say that. But I'm saying I I'm more, more, more. Like okay. I've been more in tune, like more, you know. Okay. With that's, that. Okay. Like being more outspoken. Yeah. What? Well. Okay. No. No. I wouldn't say that. Well. Okay. Yeah. In a sense. Being, but being outspoken. It's with everything, though. That's why I said okay. like actions. It's like even with it's like let's say you you went somewhere you forgot some or you went down you went out the house you forgot something in the house like me I'm the type of I'll be like fuck it I keep going. But now it depends on what it is though. Of oh. Course. Okay. If it's wallet, like bro, I'm going back. But if it's oh, like, well, that goes without saying. So yeah. it's certain things like me, I will brush a lot of shit off. Okay, now you're being more intentional. You're being more intentional. Nah, I'm all I'm majority for the most part intentional, but now it's like I'm not gonna be so passive. 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 Okay. Gotcha. Took me 13 minutes to fucking say right. that. 
Right. Nah, nah. That's that. That's cool, man. Even though I that's I've cool. been less passive over course mm. past two years and shit. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah. So that's that's for me. All right. You Pe- won't. Well, waiting for you to be like, yo. So how so how are you? Oh, I was gonna say something else. What, what, people what? people might view it as arrogance, like the way it, the, the the way it may seem like my actions, but it's really not. It's not arrogance. Sometimes you could be arrogant. Who me? Yeah. Or people? You. Sometimes you could be arrogant. We both could be arrogant. Yeah, I have my arrogant moments. Yeah, yeah. If Jeezy now <laughs> got a hoodie on, he think he young Jeezy now. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, how are you? Uh, I'm good, man. I'm good. I've been um the last couple of weeks. I've been focusing a lot of my energy on like you. learning this investment shit and learning this stock shit. Mm-hmm. Listening to I've been listening to Earn Your Leisure. They have a nice formatted podcast. Now you see why I've been preaching Earn yeah, Your Leisure. I, I, I love I love the conversations. Mm-hmm. They've been um they've been I've been learning a lot of I've been learning a lot of shit. Um, but yeah, that's been my my focus. Yeah, just like. Cause like you know, and I've been saving my money very well. Mm-hmm. I bring sandwiches to work every day. You do better. I than haven't me. bought lunch. I haven't spent more than two dollars for lunch in a few months. If I if I don't bring sandwiches, I buy dollar pizza, two slices, two dollars, no taxes. <laughs> that ass. I got granola bars in my locker just in case I get a little hungry mid shift to hold me over. Like mm-hmm. I haven't spent no money. I went to Zara the other day. Spent probably like. In total, like one fifty, but that's throughout the last three months. Mm. You know what I'm saying, I, like when I a few months ago, like last, like last year, probably like fall of last year, until the end of the year, you was um, staying in Zara. I was, I worked near uh, Bryant Park, <laughs> and it's a it's a Zara right there. My boy worked there. I get the discount, so I was literally probably spending like three hundred dollars a week. Unconsciously, just picking up <laughs> shit, like two hundred here, one fifty here, mm-hmm. like just you know, like every day after work, I would check in to see what new they got, and I'm just like, not knowing that that shit's on the add. I'm like, yo, like literally, I said to myself, like, yo, I'm getting my checks, I'm trying to save, but the shit ain't going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> and like, me and Nick, I'm just like, oh my nigga, you're but you're spending too much shit. So yeah, um, I've been uh. I've been really being conservative, and um, I finally got a handle on this. Well, not even quite, but like I finally was making calls today with the with this with these stock options on my uh, my employer. Mm-hmm. They give you they give us free stocks and shit, and they give us grants, and we just got some today. So um, I'm just getting a handle on shit. Like I'm writing shit down I'm on like, this investment I, life, yeah. grown man shit. Yeah. Real talk. So mm-hmm. certain things that I'm gonna start doing um now before I have kids. I I, I I be reading certain shit like, oh, if you do this when your kid is born by the time they're 14, I'm doing that shit now. So by the time I do have a kid, by the time they are 14, it's gonna be a by little By the time they're 14 what, you know days old. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, man. It's been um it's yeah. been exciting, you know. Mm-hmm. But it is exciting. That, you know, I uh, um I won't dive too much to the personal life, but I feel I feel more at peace these days. Mm. I'm sleeping better. My mind isn't, you know, you know what I'm trying to. You know, yeah. I ain't gonna say it. Um, yeah. Probably later on, I, I divulge because you know it's my family I'm speaking to and shit. Um, but, another thing I've noticed with myself, uh, I've been doing way more future planning, mm-hmm. way more future planning. Like every day, I'm thinking like. By this time, that time, this time. Facts. I was just planning out my shit with uh, Devana yesterday. And I was like, yo, by next month, this is what I'm going to have. Yeah. Next two months, this is what I'm going to have. Yeah. If you plan it correctly, there's no way you can't exactly. hit that mark. A man with you know a man. And this is, what, this is a flaw. I ain't going to be, I ain't, I ain't going to cap. This is a flaw that I've seen that in retrospect, I've seen, I saw like... <sighs> In my relationship, mm-hmm. to an extent, of course, right. But more so in my relationship, when when I was in a relationship, mm-hmm. let me say that. And um, as a young man growing up, I mean, yeah, we wasn't taught these things, but at the same time, it's like 
like you said, I'm trying to save, but my money's not going nowhere. Right. My nigga, what are you doing, Abdallah? Yeah. Hazel. Well, look at your lifestyle. Yeah, you gotta what break you that doing? shit down. You gotta, exactly. Run yeah. a self diagnosis. Yeah. On your finances. On everything. Yeah. Yeah, everything, yeah. Because it's your mindset that dictates what you do with the finances. Yeah. And who influenced the mindset? Your surroundings, your you know, your morals, your principles, your values, your friends, your family. Right. So based on how niggas is moving, that's what you going that's how you're gonna be moving with your finances. That's how you're gonna move in your social life. That's how you're gonna move in with your in your relationship. Facts. So yeah, that was a flaw that, you know, I pinpoint. I'm like, ah, right, yeah, I definitely fucked up with that. But hey, that's what these things are for. We learn mm-hmm. niggas on good terms, like, hey. Nah, real talk. Real and talk. this is why they say women have that upper hand over men because we don't really do that. Looking back at it, it's like niggas, we don't really do that. My circle of men growing up, nah, we don't yeah. really plan for the future. Like, yo, bro, this is what I'm planning on doing, executing, obtaining in six months. Niggas wasn't talking about that in 17 years old. Yeah, you think about girls we trying to invite over to the crib because we horny, right. That's what we was fucking talking about. Yeah. Video games, clothes, and women. That's what we was talking yeah. about. Yeah. And who dressed, for, you know what I'm saying? Music. Yeah. That's what we was talking about. Yeah, no. Nah. We wasn't thinking about travel. We, we wasn't thinking about tr- tr- credit. We wasn't thinking about all these shit. Yeah. So imagine I our wish. sons. This is this is, this is is what life is about. Mm-hmm. Imagine our sons. Oh, now. yeah. We early on it. Because we 28 talking about it. I'm going to get my sister early on it. Bro, I'm already mm-hmm. talking about it with Elijah. He's yeah. 12. Yeah. And your children is different with your children than your nephews and nieces because that's your child. Like, it's more of like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They more adherent to you and your what you're saying. Right. But that's what it's all about. I'm just, I'm impatient nowadays. I'm impatient to go to sleep. I'm impatient to wake up. I'm impatient to go to work. I'm impatient to <laughs> leave patience, work. Though, man. I know, but I'm saying yeah. because I'm so much in the future, I'm like, yo, in two months, I'm going to have this. I'm going to have this. It's like I can't wait to obtain these things now. I wasn't right. living like that before. Before, but, that anxiety was towards clothes. When I get my check, I'm going to get this fucking leather jeans. from. The, I'm right. going to go to Bloomies and I'm going to cop that leather jacket for three something. That was the... That right. was... You know what I'm saying? The short term goals. One thing I will say, because I agree with most most things you said. One thing I will say though. Most things? You Jamaican now? Most <laughs> mo- mo- most things. <laughs> one thing that I will say is that because I've done this before too, and I realized that it's it's not it's not good. Cause I I can get very anxious in expecting things and anticipating things to occur in my life. And you gotta be careful with that, cause then you start like not enjoying the moment you in right now. No, that's a fact. I cause you looking so far ahead, you're like yo, I can't wait to get to that point. And then before you know it, like you you not really enjoying the process of like right now. You know what I'm saying? No, that's the thing. I'm 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 acknowledging all that. That's why like I'm because life speed meeting you, up life with speed y'all. By, son. That's why I'm meeting up with y'all. I'm like yo, last time we saw each other, I was like yo, I'm dead ass. Like yeah. I'm filling in life between. Here and next month and now and next two months. I'm feeling right. like planning brunch with my sisters and shit. I'm like, like we having conversations about acquiring property and shit. This is what we doing. Yeah. So, yeah, we feeling in life. Visiting family, traveling. Right. Yeah. That's good to hear. I'm not just going at, going in at home and then just waiting for work and then go back at home waiting for... Nah, nah. Yeah. But at the same time, while living life, it's like I'm being economical with my mental processing at the same time. Right. I ain't trying to get too, cause I know I can be impulsive. I can be impulsive. I, I'm very impulsive. I'm, I'm, I'm. Yeah, I get it from my mom. Impulsivity and my compassion. Yeah, the two of them together. Because it, it could, I could have fifty dollars in my account, and somebody be like, "Yo, I'm in a jam. Like, yo, I need you to pull up a." And I, I'm just giving like an example. Uber mm-hmm. could be forty dollars, but because like this is my brother, this is like my nigga, this is my like. This somebody close. I don't. That money could be repl- repleted tomorrow. Mm-hmm. That's how I think. Mm-hmm. This life, this forty dollars is not more important than this lo- loved one. Right. You see what I'm saying? So that's how I used to think. Well, that's how I am to still to an extent, but more so on the conservative side now. Right. Because I'm learning as I grow too. It's like people niggas is 
Niggas is selfish. Like niggas look out for themselves. Right. People will hit you about being in the jam, but when you're in the jam, it's like crickets. Right. So I'm like, all right, cool. I'm just allocating niggas to, you know, yeah. their appropriate lists. Nah, facts. That's it. Facts. All you gotta do that. Texas. <laughs> Alexis, Texas. Texas. What is it? Uh Mississippi. And Massachusetts. Um, and Massachusetts. I just saw I just saw the governor for um Greg I Abbott. I just saw the I think. governor. Yeah. Greg Abbott. Abbott. He just announced that Texas is a hundred percent open. And um he's ended the statewide mask mandate. Niggas in their bag. <laughs> Niggas in their bag right after a fucking snowstorm. A horrible snowstorm. Texas has a lot of things going on right now. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a lot weird, of like new, it's a lot of news, a lot of it's a lot of shit being focused on Texas. It's very interesting. But um Mississippi as well, open. And you say Massachusetts? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what they're saying. They pushing for it. What's your thoughts know. on that? <clears throat> well, that niggas on is woke? all three of them? <laughs> on the, the governors are woke? <laughs> <laughs> the governors is half woke and shit? <laughs> nah, I don't think the, these governors are, governors are woke. I think, all, once again, it's for money. Good, cop, bad, good cop, bad cop. And it's for money. Yeah. They want to open the city to, so they can so their businesses and their economy in that, in that city can, can Think flourish. about it. Think about it. We have this vaccination. Majority of the country are not vaccinated. Yet- we're reopening movie theaters. We're reopening states. We're reopening, you know, leisure, social, you know, establishments. Mm-hmm. But we still saying COVID is real. Right. But we still saying COVID is killing people. But we put Guyana on level four. Come on. Come on. So COVID packed its shit and, and went to Guyana? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> these are the conversations that these niggas don't expect us to have. Yeah, it's they expect us to just talk dumb shit. It's inconsistent. Yeah, it's, speaking of speaking of little little sidebar, I'm not gonna spend too much time on this. I post something on my Instagram uh, a couple of days ago about vaccine. It's a 50 minute video. Um, a fella was was really breaking down what the vaccine really is, and um. For those who saw it, I hope y'all watched it. It's fucking 75th Precinct. These niggas... Oh, yeah. That's, that's been sorry, doing you know, this shit for the that. past 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. But, yeah. But, um, yeah, just... Yeah. If you want that link, hit me up. I got it. I'll send it to you. But, yeah. um, uh, Texas. Yeah. I, yeah. I think it's... I think it's... I think it's... Uh, I don't think niggas is woke. I think niggas is... Um, Capping. They are just doing it for you know doing it for money. Um, but I can't really. I don't know. Like, my, quick, quick interjection, right? If doctors were being incentivized thirteen thousand to say somebody got COVID, and then an the additional thirty nine thousand to put them on a ventilator, imagine how much a governor is saying, "Hey, we, we COVID free, open up." <laughs> imagine how much he's getting imagine his incentive yes hmm. I think that hmm. I think that's going against their agenda though their agenda though no yeah cause Why they wanna see? cause I don't know their full agenda I can postulate but I, I don't know their full agenda cause there's any consensus of us <clears throat> that I've seen like from our general like me and you I'm saying our general opinion of the state of this country and like this whole virus is that they wanna they're pushing this virus, they're egging it on more than what it it possibly really is. Because they wanna it yeah, actually is because they want to stir up um fear. They wanna keep people, you know, um docile. That's the word you would say, right? Docile um, dependent on them. Yeah, and just very like, you know, um, shook to think for themselves. They want to create that sheep mentality. So with these that's governors, one aspect though. That's not just that's just that's not my only like. But that's the reasoning for them. I think that's the biggest opinion though. At least for no, me, it, uh, no, not for me because that's 
What's your biggest that? opinion about the virus then? If it's not two half people, um, could we already think the virus? The injection, is not, the vaccinations. Yeah, but you got to start a fear to get people to no, run. But these to niggas it. is already in fear. That's what I'm saying. I don't think it, my fear wasn't my biggest one. So what's your biggest one then? The vaccinations. But they got to get the fear of build but up the first fear is in order to get there. the vaccine. That's what I'm saying. The fear, I'm saying like fear, government using fear as a tool. That tool of fear has yeah. already been here since the 60s, since 9-11. That tool has already been But they already still milking used. it more though. They still use it. Yeah, yeah, they still use that tool of fear. But my thing is in terms of COVID, it's the vaccinations. Now, do you think that these governors is for the vaccines? Yes. Depend. Look, like I'm speaking from someone. If I was someone, listen, that this is chess made, moves. You can't look at one thing and sure and judge it I, just I, right there. I know that, but I can't. I can't read thing. I can't read everything. I can't see. So I'm. Yeah. So, so I'm judging on what I'm seeing. If if these niggas is um, this is kind of productive to the bigger agenda. Is what I'm saying. If these if these governors are saying we opening up the city, mm-hmm. um, these states, we we are not mandating masks. Yeah, that counters everybody else is saying saying that if you do open the city, it's gonna be more deaths. Um, if you don't mandate masks, it's gonna be more infections. That doesn't counter that. It in their eyes, it does because no, it they're doesn't. Literally, because it didn't happen yet. What counter saying, would be. We implement something that we know for a fact is not going to cause deaths. Just because we raised the barriers, that that doesn't The reason why cities are shut down is, well, the real reason is to cause fear. But what they're saying the reason is, shut down the cities, um, not allow big, um, large groups of people, and the mass is to lower the infections in result. Later result, lower in deaths. Yeah, con- contain the virus. Right. Quote, unquote. So, what's the opposite of that? Leave shit open. Don't wear masks. That's the that's literally the, the direct opposite of that. So, in their eyes, I could see them saying, um, he's he's countering what we're trying to um, accomplish with this shit. We're trying to lower infections and deaths. And this governor, that's why I'm saying, like... What these guys are doing, I can see it as um, I can see a way of it as like um, they uh they're countering um the agenda, like the agenda of like we see in the news all day. These niggas is like, yo, everybody, you know, if you could stay in the house, stay in the house. If you could wear masks, wear masks. And these niggas is like, nah, we just, you know what I'm saying. So with that, with that perspective. Based on what they just did, I don't think these guys, they probably are, but if I was someone that was like, all right, we're not, we not mandating math, we open up the city, in my eyes, that's a person who's not for vaccines. Yeah, because like I because said- Because you don't believe in the virus. It, you're judging it by the cover. Just because a nigga say that, that doesn't mean it's in his heart. Sure. I, I don't. I can't tell the future, though. I'm going- right. I'm so seeing both sides. why the hell sides. are you falling for the same shit as, as the know. American public? At the end of the, look, at the end of the day, I'm not falling for nothing. I can care less what right, any of these assuming, niggas do. I know. I can care. I'm, I'm literally though. going throughout my life and I just, I'm, I wear this shit to wear to work, but none but of this in shit, this like particular what they did in stand- Texas, I really don't care. I'm right, just speaking I know. It. But in this particular scenario, your stance is that of- I'm seeing both sides. I could see how they could be not for vaccines. I know. But I, I'm saying- I don't know for sure. All right. So my thing is this. They can be for the vaccines and reopen the states. And when people do start, quote unquote, dying and coming down with illnesses from the fucking 5G frequencies and shit, then they'll be like, oh, we made a mistake. Or now the U.S. government can be like, oh, fire these guys. And what they what happens with white supremacy? They get severance packages, they get replaced, they get transferred, all kinds of shit. So these could be fall guys. I don't take none of none of like you said, I don't take nothing that none of these niggas say for face value. Right. All this shit is a game, all this shit is a fucking plot. It's all gotta at the end of the day, we have to seem polarizing to the public. We cannot seem like an autonomous government. Because then they'll know it's a tyrant. It's a, it's tyrannical. 
they'll they'll know we're behind the curtain like wizard of oz so we gotta we gotta show resistance within congress resistance within supreme court resist but at the end of the day when the fucking laws are passed and policies are passed we all are on the same accord that's my point so if at the end of the day these policies being signed i don't give a fuck about the dog and pony show that's going on Hmm. i mean i don't see i don't know the pers- i don't know the specifics of the the law and policy because mm-hmm. from my understanding i thought that um it was already shit in place that was like i right, you um the cities are not going to be 100 percent open but apparently like governors got more power than i than i thought you know what i'm saying like i i don't know the stipulation <laughs> and that's that. another thing as a fucking senator i could step in and be like shut the fuck up sit down yeah, so I like I don't. President could be like that. Yeah, I mean I don't. Really, Vice president could say that. Secretary of State could say that. I don't know. These postmaster general could say that. All these people trump a fucking governor. Well, I assume. In terms yeah, of, I don't know in terms order, of, to be in terms of, like, uh, status. Hierarchy? I know every label I mentioned are higher than governor. I know for a fact. But in terms of, like, legal loopholes and who got power I, maybe the government might have more power in this department than than this person you mm. see what i'm saying but i don't see how a governor could say like we're opening up a state because these are states that we mentioned this nigga had a press conference like i said yo we open up governor yeah i have Homo a blast is of new <laughs> Go york to the beach yeah is he a he's a governor of the state or the, the city um, Governor of the state, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's one governor per yeah. state, and then there's, uh, there's mayors per city. The mayors, okay. Yeah, the yeah, mayors yeah. is lower then. Mm-hmm. Okay. So now, mm-hmm. all right, still, senators still higher, though. And we got two senators per state. Well, he just so announced it, so only time will tell. Let's see if these niggas, let's see if the state senator. And then we will also got to look at rebuttal. Mississippi and Massachusetts to see if they were, for those states, were the governors as well. Because right. if it's just governors saying these things, it's like, um, where were you governing when there was the fucking hurricane? Where were all these fucking, you know what I'm saying? Where was all this cojones <laughs> when we had Sandy and Texas had they shit? Right. Yeah. And Boston bombing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's a rabbit hole. Uh, yeah. Figured. That's a rabbit hole. But hey, man, I guess only time will tell, man. I just, I just think it's interesting that these these niggas decide to one day, you know, we're open hundred percent, um, while still in the pandemic. Yeah, yeah. worldwide pandemic. Yeah, that, that, yeah, and that's why I said this is to push that agenda because if we're still in a worldwide pandemic, why three individual states is like Massachusetts is all the way up here next to New York, Texas is all the way down south. That, it's not like you're next to each it's other. It's like one north, <laughs> one one down south, Mississippi, and then one west. It's like this is a fucking trapezoid. This is an isosceles triangle. <laughs> isosceles. So I've now heard that word it's, like, it's like it's <laughs> like I've heard that word. This shit don't make sense. It doesn't. That's why niggas trying to figure it out. Because just two months ago, the whole U.S. map was red in terms of COVID cases and shit. Right. I know it. Is. I don't know. <laughs> Yo. It's a game. Yeah. I see the games you play. Officer Hoyt, this is your training day. (laughs) Since we're on the subject of Texas, right? I came across some interesting information. So we know about the Texas power outage and all of that shit. Mm -hmm. Storm and all that. A couple, like last week and the week before too. Um, So four members of the Texas Power Grid Operators Board ended up resigning in the wake of that very winter storm. Mm. According to CBS News, in a letter to the Electric Reliability Council of Texas Board, the resigning members cited concerns about their out-of-state leader, out-of-state board leadership, right? Mm. Three of whom reside three of whom reside in other states and the remaining one live in another country 
but mm. we live we are on the texas board that makes no fucking sense of power like that makes no sense you can't relate to these people the residents that you're so what what what, what came to my mind i'm gonna mm-hmm. let you speak but mm-hmm. i don't want to lose this talk what came to my mind when i first read that was like in terms of like i said all this dog and pony show yeah we're gonna open up to say all that shit right but in terms of us the elite we know what's about to come down we're not gonna be here we don't even live here but we gonna we gonna put on this show we gonna act like we gonna speak like i'm a texan and all this shit you see what i'm saying mm-hmm. What do you think? Um, I I always find it very interesting when People some resign. shit go down and then niggas start resigning instantly. Boom. Especially you know multiple. Like, like even with big name companies, allegations start throwing around. The CEO dip out. Mm-hmm. CFO start dipping out. Like, where y'all fu- where y'all going? What happened to like y'all built y'all built the shit from the ground up, right? What happened to sticking to the guns when shit get tough? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. It seems it seems like multiple questions arise in my head. Mm-hmm. Are people? Is there someone making them resign? Like yo, like you need to, you need to announce your resignation because you did something wrong, right? Or two is a question like which which I hide out this option, but I mention anyway because you know I'm always I, I like mentioning options that I, even I don't even believe just mm-hmm. to give people um a perspective. Is it? Um, a feeling of guilt is like we are the uh, we are what are they again? The, um, they're on the board. The board members of of, of, of Texas, Texas Power uh, Grid. Power Grid, right? Mm-hmm. So it's like, is it a feeling of guilt? Right after a power outage, right? Is it a feeling of guilt? Like, damn, we let these people down. I can't stand to be in this position again, which I doubt because I think you niggas just heartless demons, right? That's number two. Um, number three. It's um I think it's number two. You think it's they feel guilty. You think that? Yeah. You think that? Yeah. No way. You think these niggas feel guilty? Not yeah, they- honestly, not honestly guilty, but it's to like uh it's like we don't want too much heat on us. Heat on us right now. That's what that's my third question. Like, okay. The first one was is somebody telling them, all right, you need to you need to you need to go. Or they feel guilty. Or the last one is, damn, shit, shit too hot right now. Let me detach myself from the situation just in case niggas do their research. Maybe yeah. I can get out before the fire get too hot. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I think, I think it's, it's the. the third I think it's one. that one then. I don't think these niggas feel guilty because yeah, they, they, they don't live in the fucking country. Yeah, I was. Don't live in the state, so it's like they're not more. They're not people. experiencing that power outage. They probably doing remote work on that shit. They you know don't care. Saying? They probably doing remote work on that shit. You not. You not. How are you a board member? That's like a nigga. That's like a nigga. Uh, like he worked for the Hornets, but he like a coach on the Heat. How the fuck you doing that? You not in the town. You don't know the culture. You not there for practice. You know what I'm saying? Like how? Like you know what I'm saying? Like there's no there's no correlation between the two. Is that how it is in all states? Are board members of New York living in London? I don't London? know, but I assume. I assume. You know what I'm saying? I don't know that that shit. I don't know what it takes to be a board member. I would hope to be a resident because you do know the history of New York. You know the culture. Mm-hmm. You've been here. You know the people. You 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 around the people. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. That's doing on it. doing Uber and shit. I ain't gonna front. It opened my eyes to certain things like. This tends to happen a lot. Like a lot of top execs and shit in Manhattan. In these top companies, they don't live in the city. They may have a penthouse in the city. They may have an apartment in the city, a condo in the city. Right. Yeah, I have these things and say, I don't live here. My private residence is in the woods somewhere. PA, Connecticut, right. Rhode Island. Like these people be driving out. Friday nights, that's when you would usually get those rushes of people leaving the city, driving back out to Connecticut and shit. Mm. So, like, I always like notice that. And then coming across the board, it's like, that's just the same thing on a bigger scale. Mm. Presidents, states, niggas is senators in New York that live in fucking Wisconsin and shit. Right. I'm pretty sure. Right. What that mean? What does my job have to 
do with my <laughs> my my home address? Well, one, we got to answer the question of, well, we got to ask the question of what do, what is their, um, they're the board members for the power grid in Texas. So your best interest would not may necessarily rely here because you don't right. have to it's go like, through what we go through. It's the same concept of why do we want, that's why we, we ask the police who are in neighborhoods to at least have grown up in that neighborhood or at least live oh. in that neighborhood or come from that neighborhood. You got niggas who are in neighborhoods in Brooklyn and they live in Staten Island. And you that's, can't relate to the community. That's the point. You know what I'm saying? So now when we go to board meetings, community board meetings, to tell the community board how we feel and what should be improved in our neighborhoods, they're just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a fucking PTA meeting. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna like try. Empathy. We're gonna try. We're gonna try. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then they get out. They get in their fucking Lincoln Town cars, and then they get driven to by their chauffeur like a, yeah. to another zip code, another state, another city, another town, and they'd be like, oh, that was dumb niggas. Yeah. Back to my. Daily you know, life. comfortable, yeah. you know. Mm-hmm. I ain't got to worry about that shit. Yeah, it's a lot what they going to do, call my office? Like compassion. What these niggas yeah. going to do, call my office 50,000 times? Right. Put them on a the block list. Right. What are they going to do, charge to my office? Charge to my I live in. I live in, I live in fucking. What are you going to fucking do if you Australia, find. Nigga. What are you going to do if you find out I put you on the block list? Whoa. Oh, no. Oh, call NYPD. Oh, right. no. They're in my fucking budget. Right. We're all in cahoots together. Right. Yeah. So yeah, it's the same shit, different magnitude, different, different, yeah. different magnitudes. Yeah. Trick or down theory. Yeah. That should be um another question I'd be asking is like uh like you, you spoke on like the severance packages and shit. Is that I, I wonder what is the stipulations of those packages, like in that in them those resonations. Like uh like is like do they have another position somewhere well, else secured? You know what I'm saying? Like you, you, you resign and hey, you make it a package, but that package ain't gonna last you. How much that position will last you for ten years? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's true. That, you know what I'm saying? But so, it's, so is it a benefit to leave? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, do they have if, another if position of- somewhere else? Because niggas get. <clears throat> yo, I saw somebody. I saw a mayor resign because mm. some shit, a cop killed somebody, right? Mm. The mayor resigned. After, she released a statement. I don't get the bitch's name, right? She released a um, a lack of, a lack of, um, like a compassionate statement, right? She resigned in that city. You would think, all right, you're not fit for the job. You know what I'm saying? You're not fit to be a mayor because mayor is like in charge of the police. She got hired the next week in a different city for being a mayor. Oh, are you surprised? I'm not surprised. So I was asking, no. like, okay, yeah. niggas resigning, they must have another position because you, you like, you out of a job now. And that's what I was saying earlier. Yeah. They relocate. Right. Just right. because you resign as a board member in this state, right. just because you resign at this thing, that doesn't, next five years, next three years, you're in Seattle. I don't fucking live in Seattle. I don't watch Seattle news. Right. I, how am I going to know you, you, like, what? Come on. Yeah. Come on. <clears throat> um, it's one last thing I wanted to say. Is it about Texas? Mm, Damn, Texas. It's about Texas. A lot of shit going on in Texas, man. You niggas been paying attention lately. Um, there, there's been a lot of um, there's been a lot of things happening in Texas. Do not disturb, huh? Do not disturb. I did. I put it on my laptop. All right. Is your is your? I know this nigga not talking, bro. Is yours on? Is <laughs> just see how fast you got this. Relax, nigga. Um, a lot of things been happening in Texas. This, the fact that they want to recede from the country and be their own secede, secede and from be the their nation. own uh, sovereign, right? State. Their own country, basically. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, companies moving their headquarters to Texas. A lot Relocating, of shit. yep. NRA. Lot, they've been in the news a lot. Bill lately, and Melinda so Gates. I just want y'all to pay attention to that. You know what I'm saying? Because it ain't happening for no reason. It ain't happening for no reason. If I play Monopoly and I buy fucking Red, it's because I got plans to do other shit with Red in the future, nigga. Just know that. But the reason, yeah. Oh, yeah, now I remember. So, you had asked me, I thought, um, why, 
why I think they felt oh, guilty. Oh yeah, that was because now I said problem, guilty. No, 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 no. Yeah. Right. But um, how I know something is up? It's like yo, you just went through your state. Just went through a never before witness uh weather yeah experience. Weather and the power outage. In addition to that, power outage mm-hmm. was affected. Right. In addition to that, you sit on the board. You four sit on the board. Yeah. Yeah, facts. In addition to that, you four retire retire a couple days after this happened. Yeah. Nigga, you you're fucking suspect number one. Yeah. Prime facts. suspects number one, two, three, four. Yeah. That's like, yeah. Four number ones, not even one, two, three, four. Four number ones. Each of y'all are number one. Yeah, that's like, you know what it is? <laughs> this is why I couldn't be in law enforcement. That's like you walk inside of a room, right? You hear that a murder happen in front of a room of people. Mm-hmm. As soon as it gets announced, you see four niggas walk out. Exactly. Where y'all going? Exactly. <laughs> Where the fuck are y'all exactly. niggas going? No, we gotta. No, y'all niggas is hot. You at work? You can't <laughs> find your cell phone. Yo, I can't see my. I can't find my phone. Four coworkers walk out. No, Matt. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. At the same time, yeah. four walk out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah like, sus. Where the fuck y'all going? Not answering the question either. Yeah, no, they just, they just walk out. Yeah, no, no explanation. Nothing. Just walk I out. just feel the need to leave. Yeah, I'm tucking your pockets immediately. Like, come on, son. Yeah, it's us. Yeah, and great, American great public, analogy. American public, like, oh well, um, well, he lost his dad, and um, she, she's uh, at the age Niggas of retirement. From Texas. Like, nigga. Nigga live in Australia. This nigga live in New York. This nigga live in Florida. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I'm telling you, man. Yeah. Shit is a video game. <laughs> Yo, I worked on construction sites. Shit is Sims. I worked on construction sites and the fucking one of the guys, like contractor, he live in Texas. So he flew out there for the contract? <laughs> he gotta get that bag. <laughs> and we talking about a we talking about a contractor for a job compared to a fucking board members right. for a job. Yeah. Facts. Nah, I mean, yeah. I'm not saying you can't relocate. I would I would have a job in Jersey. Yeah, but facts. it depends on what level, what type of job. Like if I'm in the fucking on the board of the water supply for Jersey, yes, I gotta test that water. I gotta I gotta drink some of that water. Right. I gotta bathe in some of that water. Yeah. I gotta wash my hands. See the There's I gotta no attachment to it. Divulge you know. myself in the culture yeah. or whatever I'm doing. The yeah. the moral fiber, the fiber of whatever I'm governing right. of that particular area. Right. If I'm not intertwining myself, I'm like the nigga from Flint. Oh, that's a good, perfectly good drinking water um, right. it's brown but it's, it's perfectly fine uh, right. i wouldn't take a glass myself but it, it looks perfectly fine right yeah not nah, it makes sense yep everything we saying makes sense shit is sus and you knew and you niggas too pussy to fucking talk about it when yeah. i say you niggas i'm talking about you common citizens yeah who know shit be like Nah, that shit don't. We all have a voice at this and, point. And you be like, oh nah, I'm just going. I'm yeah. just going. Yeah. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna have another child and bring that up, bring that person, a whole nother human being up on some dickhead shit. Right. Knowing the government about to fuck them over, knowing mm-hmm. society fucking them over, knowing mm-hmm. people is fake. I'm not even I'm not preparing them for shit. I'm not telling them about people, finances, the government, nothing. Laws, nothing. Right. Just, That's your mindset. They, they just out here. You're like, fucking garbage. Yeah. You're nice. a garbage person, bro. Yeah, you're not straight up and down. Or guardian. The fuck are you doing reproducing? Yeah. Straight up and down. You're garbage. You have little sisters, Protecting little me. brothers. You finding out about stocks you find out about credit you but you just doing you you just care about you yeah you just want to fly the dr fuck bitches <laughs> post post pictures on the gram that's that's what right. niggas want to do money get fly post fly shit that's what niggas want to do yeah. ignore all this shit yeah. not saying you could do not saying you can't live your lifestyle plus yeah. you know put niggas on and it's when I say niggas, I mean your family. Know. That's all I'm talking about. Not people. Not you know. Yeah. Like if you see youth that's thirsty for knowledge, bro. Like yeah. Like some some people would. And before <clears throat> we get off this, some people would look at us and say, "Um, all right, you guys know all of this information. Yeah. 
you guys know you guys are so hip to i'm sure there's people out there like that the smart asses i got a couple dms before. you guys are so hip to all these things all right trust. so okay but y'all y- 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 missing the point i have a problem me personally mm. i have a problem with not being in the know with corruption within the government of the country i reside in that i'm paying my fucking money to right so if niggas so if niggas bust a move, I know how to maneuver. Y'all taking shit just yes, all right, cool. Just yeah, yeah, boss, yeah, like, boss. The vaccine is a prime example. Y'all not in the y'all saying, okay, you know all this shit. Yeah, so we know how to maneuver around the bullshit. They pitching this vaccine shit. You don't you ain't do no research. You don't know shit. You just like, all right, I'm gonna take it. Just you wanna sit down in the room. These niggas are the co-workers that just be kissing the fucking boss, supervisor, key holder, right. store manager, assistant store manager, whoever it is that got power at that time, that yeah. got the most power in that room, yeah, I'm going to kiss their ass. These are dumb type of niggas. Yeah, they don't think for themselves. Majority of these niggas are fucking clowns. And majority of co- workplace, have majority of the co-workers in the workplace kiss ass. So yeah. if majority of workers, work, co-workers... In, workers in the workplace gets asked, what are the fucking majority of people in society going to do? Right. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I, look, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a proponent of this, of this, of this statement. How you do one thing is how you do all, no, how you do most, most if things. not all things. Most things. I say most, yeah. Most. Because if you, like I said. Niggas be bums and can work, fuck the shit out of a, out of a chick. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it, yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. Like if you like, if you are a sheep at at work, you probably a sheep in your daily life. You know what I'm saying? There's there's value in knowing and having knowledge. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. plus, a lot of this shit affect our mental state. Since y'all not in the know, <clears throat> the news berate you with, with with all these stats and statistics and all these false narratives. False shit. Yeah. And you they believe your it. mind. You and your family. Y'all y- y- y'all niggas just run around. On, which I had chopped all like chickens. Us, we calm, we collect it because we see the bullshit. Exactly. Y'all may not see value in that, but I see extreme value in that. Cause extreme my, my, value. My mental, my mental peace is everything. I see niggas. I'm like, yeah, that's cool. My mom, my mom, yo, you know, eighty niggas died today. I'm like, all right. What the fuck does that do for me yeah. now in this current place right now? I've had, <laughs> I've yeah. had times where niggas walk in the room, yo, like they just said. 400 niggas died in Miami last week. All right, what does that do for us in this current state right now? You know what I'm saying? Women hate that when you- All that going to do is bring down my spirit. <laughs> the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a I'm fact. cooling. What does me knowing 400 niggas died in Miami from COVID on Spring Breach do for me right now? My mental space. Or a celebrity just got pregnant or just got divorced. It does nothing for me. You know what I'm saying? Nothing. So- that's my um. Oh, I want to say something. The um, funny thing is that yeah. people like this be like, like you said. Mm-hmm. Oh, what are you doing? But what are you doing? Right. Yeah. Right. At least I'm giving people knowledge. At least right. I have knowledge right. to give the I'm, knowledge. I'm tra- yeah, I'm trying what to get are out the you matrix. doing? Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to get out the matrix. That's uh, all. It, yeah. All we could do is try. All niggas do. Life, my nigga. Nah, we we doing, we doing, yeah, we doing, cause people yeah. be like, Put people, number of people, couple people tried in my DMs before and got mm. fucking addressed. Oh, Abdallah, oh, what are you doing? First of all, I don't have to divulge all my financial, like, never, you know, never do we have to divulge any financial. How financial. much stuff I gave to here? How much right. I don't have to tell none of y'all shit. Right. I don't have to tell you how many people I help in other ways. Right, I don't have lives. to tell y'all shit. Right. You want to? You choose to judge me from the podcast because you know you know what it is with these people. I'm gonna tell you exactly what mm-hmm. it is. They look at it like this: You've been doing the podcast two, three years. You don't have a lot of views. You don't have sponsorships. You sponsorships. Know, like you don't have money like this. You but niggas forget Joe Budden been doing this shit for eight years. The last four years, he started, started. It's a process. I don't care about that and because I, I, I've came across stories like how long Nip been grinding with his mixtapes right, before he popped. For Ten years before they get their break. Victory Lap was Nip's first studio album. L- literally, I'm not worried about these niggas literally. fucking yeah. lips and shit because Perfect at the end album, day, the at the end day, this is how I look at it. When I walk around East New York, I have more respect than these people talking this shit. Mm-hmm. Like just in the street, like. I have more, res- I command more respect. Right. Period. 
d- off that alone, like I'm, yeah, I'm on my like I'm on ten. Yeah, you don't. You don't. You, need I don't need you. I, I don't need shit to, yeah. to hear shit from you. Yeah. In addition to that, like I said, I have more knowledge than you. Right. I can sit and have a conversation with you and run circles around you. Right. In addition to that, I can teach the youths in my family to be better versions of myself, better versions of themselves at a younger age. Right. That alone took the cake. That alone, teaching children, that alone took the cake. Right. Facts. Facts. Ain't nothing more to be said after that. Facts. I'm telling you, this, <laughs> we, we, and not to make it about us, but like we, we move through. We move through life so gracefully. I was gonna say that, and people notice it. Yeah, because we're not seeking validation from nobody. I don't give a fuck. I walk fuck. in a room. I don't care if you niggas think my outfit is fly. I think it's fly. I don't care. No, if- no, 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 no. I know it's fly. Yeah, I know it's fly. The fuck. I don't care if if you think I can't pull this girl, and I don't need to pull her when you challenge me to pull her. You know those niggas like yo, they get her number. It's like I don't have to move on your time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get her when I'll I'll cross that bridge when I get there. You know I'm saying? gonna get her. I move through lights gracefully on my terms. I'm gonna get her. And people hate that shit. Mm-hmm. People hate like and I experience the confidence. Shit, I experience that shit sometimes at work. Like I'm a good energy guy, but I'm also at times you be negative at times. It may come off that way. No, nah. We all have a negative moments. Oh, and you you, you moments. was one of those guys in the past told me I couldn't get a chick. But I'm a realist, though. That, I was probably joking. No, but no, was. that's cap. Nope. Okay. Keep going, though. Okay, we're talking about 10 years ago, though. That's, that's like not the point. That's not shit. the point. No. Like before before six, they got knowledge six years yourself ago. and really started getting in tune with who they are. About all right. Like, since like, then. All right. Since then. Old, all right. All right. Since then. You know what I'm saying? But um, sometimes the outspokenness and the challenge of bullshit it's like the uh give off the wrong impression of like this guy is kind of like um hard to work with mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying because i've gotten that before i've gotten that from a manager um that like yeah um you're you're kind of hard to work with and i had to be like nah i just it's not that i'm hard to work with i have no problem following direction if i see fit like if it's, if not, it's not efficient, I'm not like, going to do it. You're not finna tell me to fucking jump and you're not even walking nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you're not you're not going to tell me to do some shit that's that's um that is a uh, unwarranted. That's unwarranted. You know Unnecessary. It's yeah, exactly. That's you know? waste of like, my energy. Yo, perfect example. <laughs> this is this is a very small example before we get off this topic. <laughs> Man, giggly. I'm in a good mood. Oh, all right. I'm saying my energy is up. You know what I'm saying all right, all right. life is beautiful. Um, we had a situation at my job recently where somebody like came Vader. in the store and stole a phone, right? So it's like one of the display phones. Yeah, one of the display phones. But you really can't do that. It's a demo phone. Can't yeah. do shit with it. You got no SIM card. You can't make no calls. Um, what you gonna do with it? Um, so the store is slow at at that particular time where the guy came in, right? Store is slow. Everybody's in different parts of the store. We just, there's nobody in the store, so we just doing our own thing. We on our phones and shit. We just chilling. Um, This guy comes in. He's on the phone. So he's like, yo, I'm on the phone with customer care. So I'm thinking, all right, he's on the phone with customer care with a dispute. He right guy? Gonna come back. Yeah, he came in the store. He sat down somewhere. I'm like, all right, whatever. Um, So at some point, he gets up. Starts browsing the phones. I ain't thinking nothing of it. Mm. I'm like, all right, he's on the phone with customer care. He probably has a dispute. He probably going to come to me at some point to get it resolved in store because they like doing that. Mm. I spoke to the guy on customer care. He said this. Okay. All right. All right. Let's do it. All right. Um, so at some point, another customer pointed out. At some point, the guy must have either snipped the wire or snatched the phone. Older guy. Between 50 and 60 years old, I kid you not, I think he was Hispanic, walked out the store. I didn't notice it until the guy was like, yo, he just saw that phone, right? So my manager comes and he's like, he's like, um, it was me and another coworker. He's working with a customer. He was like, yo, what happened? You you, you helped the guy, right? I said, I greeted him and he was sitting down doing his own thing. Mm-hmm. You want me to, you want me to. Hold his um, hand. <laughs> he was like, yo, like I need you. He's like, yo, you should have been, um, he wasn't being serious. 
<laughs> he was like, he was like, yo, like you should have been watching him. I was like, bro, if I ask my they need help and they yeah. say they good, I'm, I'm not, not hawking. I'm not block. I'm not watching them like a hawk, bro. <laughs> I'm not gonna be like, yo. You need help? All right, cool, and continue to stare at them. I said, yo, I said, for Bader, I said, yo, if that's what you expect from me, like I'm not doing it. Mm-hmm. Point blank, period. You might as well write me up right now. You might as well write me up. I, I'm literally not doing that. Like, I'm not going to hound niggas. You know what I'm saying? But the overall <laughs> point is that, like, that type of attitude, when you call out, like, bullshit, like, that's irrational. Yeah. You're not watching every human in the store. Like that. Yeah. Like, every second. You know what I'm saying? You're just not doing that. Yeah. It just so happened that he, he caught a lick on that. He seen an opportunity. You're not going to catch everybody. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And even if he did grab, what am I going to do? I'm gonna say, yo, bro, I, we, we physically can't grab them. Yeah, exactly. And I'm not, I'm not, they don't pay me enough to do that shit. Yeah. You're not you know security saying? yet. You I'm ain't got your security saying, guard, security. your license yet. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, but yeah, that's type of attitude when you're in society and like you challenge the status quo. Mm-hmm. Like when me and my mom have conversations and I challenge um, the folks that she, you know, watch Holds. on TV and the Joe Bidens and the Democrats and old Republicans, <clears throat> whenever I challenge these officials, people look at you like, who do you to have this polarizing to challenge? Like to this a, great people, I, I'm a fucking taxpayer. I'm paying these niggas out. It's my job to challenge their job. I'm a critical thinker. You know what I'm saying? Point blank. Period. It's my job to be like, hmm, are these niggas who I'm paying fulfilling their duties to their best ability? If that's niggas' Period. fucking stance, then do not fucking call the bank when you see discrepancies. Exactly. Do not call the cable bill when you see discrepancies or you feel like you've tra- overcharged. Don't call your cell phone. Don't call none of these fucking people. Right. Just go through life. Let them keep robbing you. Yeah. Let the scammers swipe your fucking credit card numbers. Right. You see that? You know you authorize that person. You leave it. Shut your mouth and go about your day. Right. Yeah, keep the same That's energy. what I'm saying. Niggas be picking and fucking choosing. That's yeah. why I say they, they pussy. Y'all niggas is pussy. Yeah, keep Next the same topic. Energy. Next topic. Bitch ass niggas. <laughs> um, Title episode. Y'all niggas is pussy. We're going to get into this. Um, Alright, we're going to get into this, right? So, it was announced a couple weeks ago. Where? You getting a child? What? You having a child? No, relax. Oh, shit. I bro. wish I was in that position. Same here. I wish okay. I had a child. I um, wish I had a baby. Facts, right? It'd be nice. Um, must be nice. I'll be calling <laughs> Wade at night singing it must be nice and shit. It was announced, right? <laughs> that now, y'all go, you guys know that. Real backstory. When coronavirus was first, was first announced, it was announced and let's say, I'm doing quotation marks, it was discovered, right, by... The Wuhan Institute of Virology, right? Yeah, China. Res- Resident Evil of China. Right. We already we already had that discussion. <laughs> yep. and those who are privy to our I had like shows, six points. Literally. Niggas right? ain't say shit. Some would say, right? Because <clears throat> I'm being impartial. Some would say that these niggas had some dealings and the virus getting out. Ooh. This particular institute in Wuhan. Ooh. Keep that in mind. Ooh. Right? It got announced that they are eligible to receive American tax dollars, um, um, American taxpaying dollars. They're getting funded, right? Um, this was announced from the Biden administration. If I could just yep. get the details. Yep. Um, and it's not no, yep. it ain't no small. Great piece hope for of cake. black women. <laughs> it ain't no small piece of cake. Um, before I get to number, what are your thoughts on that? Like the fact that someone that could have possibly conspired. To get this virus out in the name and the whole, you know, the whole thing around it. Mm-hmm. Now they're getting funded by our, some niggas in China. Yeah. Getting our taxpaying dollars. Yeah. Because that for killing me us. very upset. Yeah, for killing us. I'm already paying 30% on my fucking, I, I don't yeah. make that much money, my nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What do I think? What do you think about that? I think this is just a larger scale of same shit happening. Mm-hmm. They hire white cops from Sweden to come here, shoot black people. Same shit. They uh, ask the Chinese to fucking, what? Make all kinds of shit that's fake. Plastic Mm -hmm. rice, all kinds of shit. They know what's coming in. Feed it to people. They, they, same shit. Um, As far as this, it 
is, I would say, first and foremost, the main, my main objection is it is a slap in the face to black people, black Americans at mm. that, I don't specify. Okay. Which means I ex- am in ex- I am exempt for all the dickheads watching or listening. Um, why I say it's a spl- slap in the face to black people because that's 240 mil, bro. 240, right? I believe so. 200, that's a quarter so. of a trillion dollars. Direct numbers. No, mil, yeah. 240 mil. Quarter of, damn near quarter of a billion dollars mm-hmm. you're giving to the institute that got the fucking, that, that basically, well, they pledged over the, for the next four years, which is basically Joe Biden yeah, saying, I pledge for my four years, I give you 60 million a year for killing six million or how much of a thousand or million people worldwide for coming up, concocting this chemical X shit and giving it to to the world. Thank you. So this is your part. Thank you for doing your part in white supremacy. Right. That's pretty much what it is. So what I'm reading is that he reinstates $200 million funding to the Wu. No. No. Wu coming through at a theater my near mistake, you. My mistake, my mistake. <laughs> I was H, about to say. Um, no, um, my bad. Trying to play footsies, bro. It was a mistake. He reinstates two hundred two hundred million skin, but you funding not, not. to the WHO, which is, I believe, it's that's um, who World Health Organization. Yeah, that's right? in America. As well as making sure the Wuhan Institute of Virology is eligible to receive U.S. <coughs> taxpayer funding through two thousand and twenty-four. It doesn't specify the amount of money that's going to the Wuhan Institute, but the fact is that he's mm. still funding it through our taxpayer. So the 240 is going to who organization? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. the same niggas that I think is orchestrating all this shit. Yeah, with the CDC. Every yes, right. It's all World Health Organization right. is pretty. Yeah, right, right. So his now more about let that. me say this though mm-hmm. before we leave. Well, before you say that, mm-hmm. America is the same country that just locked up the professor from university. Well, MIT. When he went to Wuhan, he had a Chinese exchange student, and it was like two million, three million dollars worth of research, uh, research like specimen and 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 uh um materials. Hmm. Oh, so we lock this guy up for dealing with Wuhan, but we turn around and give Wuhan money. I'm telling you, it's that <laughs> shit. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm telling you. I'm going to read a little more, but... See you tomorrow. People should be upset about this. To be honest, to be honest, I'm about to break this shit down until even a, a more minuscule level because people are saying, like, folks who don't even believe that this Wuhan Institute had anything to do with the virus mm-hmm. and accidental... Um, accidental um, I think they played their part. Sure. They right? were the UCLA of China. Sure. They played their Let's part. say they had no part in this shit again now, right? Let's say you believe that. I don't believe that. Let's say you believe that. Why the fuck are we funding <laughs> any institute in China after all they're doing to people over there? This shit comes down to I know I know what you're gonna say you expect niggas to think. No, 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 no. No, I'm agreeing with you. That's like, that's a fact. Anyone who is like don't have any problem with this, think about this. These niggas still got millions of Muslims. Muslims, it's a certain name for now. I forgot the name. You Uyghurs. Yeah. Uyghurs. It's a that that's their sect. Right. Uyghurs or you. It's a weird. It's a weird name. In word. concentration camps, which that's a fancy name for it. No, it's really Monday slavery. Yeah. You know what I'm saying Monday Holocaust type shit. Maybe not as well. I, I'm not that. All of these know. are the same shit, right? I don't even know. Slave plantation that, was a concentration camp, right? You the can't leave. That, it's just that you're not fucking eating mushrooms, bitch. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> the fact is that people <laughs> are <laughs> dying. <laughs> people are dying. They're forcing them to denounce their religion. They're forcing them to eat pork. They're raping the women They're and forcing alcohol. the women to sleep with men and and and, and Chinese guys just, with their small dicks. That's terrifying for these just, women. Just mad, mad crazy. Just off the strength for that. We should not be like no, okay, that's it. Yo, this is one thing I said about Trump, bro. It's one thing I said about Trump 
It's if it's one thing good I'm gonna say about Trump, he did not suck China's dick, son. From what I've seen, he was trying to get away from them being the fucking god of important shit to us, bro. He was trying to cancel that bitch. He was like trying to charge them niggas more. He's like, you know what? We're gonna start doing shit here now. Cause y'all niggas, y'all, I don't fuck with y'all. I kind of like that energy from him towards China. Because I, I ain't going to lie, nothing against Chinese people. It's the regime over there I don't fuck with. You know what I'm saying? I can't speak on the individual. Cause I know, cause I know yeah. some good people who are Chinese. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And what? Asian and Japanese, yeah. all that. It's not against y'all, it's obviously. Japanese. It's the fucking regime. They doing mm-hmm. evil shit over there. And the fact that we, our taxpaying dollars, are funding some shit in China, that's already one blow. Y'all funding a spot that may have... But all Leak of this, this whole virus got niggas getting killed and shit. Got niggas in panic, bro. You gotta pay the shooter. That's a fact. Nah, I know right. that. I'm just speaking from the perspective of someone right. that's like, you know what I'm saying, you're speaking know. from the perspective of the victim of the shooter. <laughs> yes. Oh, you shot my brother. I'm speaking because I know the inside shit, but but I gotta <laughs> dumb it down for the viewers because they not how dumb are these niggas is not how, on the type of shit how we dumb are they we got nah, special ed dumb. people that I'm watch our shit down. y'all not saying y'all dumb all, I'm all our viewers down, are though. special ed you know what I'm saying because <laughs> they watch Dominique and them dollars well, look, I'm gonna read a couple more before I leave right yeah. yeah the research lab in Wuhan is expected to have kept caused the COVID vaccine or whatever right COVID you know virus mean, um, um, the COVID virus right and pandemic they have already received, this is reported, this may not be accurate, I'm just reporting it, right? They have already received um, in U.S. taxpayer dollars of funds between 2014 and 19. This is before the shit. This is like- They have already been getting they, funding. They already, this, they, they already been in the loop. They already been is, better than each other. Which, which, is, which makes sense because some shit at this big of a magnitude don't get planned in the year or two. Been playing this shit for ten years, bro. Ten remember the book? Years. Remember the book? Yeah, about the virus. Every yeah. and that book came out since the eighties, right? About twenty twenty. Mm-hmm. Listed the year, the right. China, right? right. right. Wuhan. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah, right. It's too. It's too many shits, right? It's too many shits. Ain't no fucking um, animals getting killed, smack. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on. Like, also, um. Eco Health Alliance's research of bat based, they try to push that whole, it came from a bat, right? Bat based coronaviruses in China was funded by a 3.7 million grant in 2014 from a branch of the NIH, the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious <coughs> Diseases. So they been getting bred to conjure up shit, you know what I'm saying? And, and so. I'm UCLA. Just, I'm just saying, like, people need to start paying attention. Like, this should upset people. You paying your hard earned dollars, and not even that. It's like you I do paying you niggas to put you in a pandemic. I do you one better. <laughs> I do you one better. You might fuck we niggas heads niggas up. To shoot us. We paying niggas to get us sick. We killed niggas' grandmas to kill to use her social security benefits to give to China. You majority majority of people were elderly people. Oh, yeah, elderly, yep. Really? What happened to that social security that they were entitled to? That they were some of them were even eligible. Some of them were receiving right. already. Right, where's it going? What happened it to it? It ain't going to the family. What happened to it? It ain't going to the family. It don't get passed down. I'm telling you, look at the games they play. Officer Hoy, this is your training day, nigga. <laughs> All the way Come on, day. son. You, man. Shit wicked. Come on, son. Shit wicked, son. Mr. Potato Head, get your fat ass out here. All right, so you seen got, this Mr. Potato Head shit? This shit is crazy. Yeah, yo. This ain't crazy. Like, <laughs> I don't care what you say. You may want to paint a, pe- a certain picture of me. me. me yeah, 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 yeah. You, you, Dominique Green, Lady wow. Dream. You may want to paint a picture of me with talking about gays and trannies or whatever. Nah. But, yo, this shit, nah. I'm going to keep talking about it. They gonna get that smoke. Nah, this gays, Jews, I gotta, nah, I got shit on China, facts. white supremacists, all these niggas get that smoke from me. Yeah, all nah, them niggas get yeah, that nah, smoke. I got smoke for niggas on this topic. I got smoke. So, Mister Potato Head, which is a fucking toy, a toy that doesn't have a brain, no, that doesn't have initiative, doesn't no. have conscience, nothing, chooses to no longer be a children's toy, a children's toy at that. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Toy Story type Pedo- shit. Pedophilia, bro. Toy Story, yeah. 
chooses now so that, you know what that means Toy Story 5 they might try any they shit they might alter the fucking original Trans- yeah we about to do they we about to change like everything version. everything Simba is sucking Scar's dick can you relax we, bro please, everybody bro. we about to ruin please. every 1992 bro, relax, bro. Relax, child's I'm about to get angry I'm about to get angry every 90s baby favorite movie animated movie and show we about to ruin that shit everybody gay now everybody sucking dick now <laughs> Squirtle, 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 Yo, now you should. Because you know squirtle, he water, squirtle. Yeah, squirt. He be like squirt, squirt. Yeah, man. Continue, man. So, yeah, Mr. Potato Head, he no longer be want to be identified as Mr. Potato Head. He wants to be identified as... What is it? Binary gender? Some non, shit? Non-gender? Non, what, what, whatever. Non-binary gender. I don't know what this fucking... Look, my head is itching. Right. Non, my, me too. You see talking, my talking this dumb shit. Non-binary gender means you, you don't have a gender. You just, you just exist. You, he want to be ambiguous. Potato. He want to be uh, ambiguous. <laughs> no. You just want to be potato. <laughs> he don't want to be mashed potato. potato. He don't want to be ma- curry potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> he just want to be a fucking potato with big African-American lips. Like... Mr. Popo. Yo, I really wish that niggas could hear this right now, bro. Everybody in the world. Everybody in the world can hear what I'm about to say. You... They should make that nigga pale. Change him from being brown. We don't want that nigga being brown. Just make him transparent then. Yeah, fuck that. Make him a no fucking... No color, no gender, Make no him nothing. a yam or some shit. Like, first of all, it's a potato. The nigga already didn't have visible genitals. A vegetable. So, like... W- a vegetable want to be a fucking. May I speak on this? Yeah, you may. This is what I've said in the past about um niggas like when the boy that crowd wolf. I'm a, and, I, and, I, and I'm Jesse Jesse Smollett. Nah, mm-hmm. well, him too. But I'm explaining. He caused all this shit. I'm explaining what I mean by this, right? The boy that crowd wolf. Let's break down that story. <clears throat> he was lying so much about a wolf appearing that when it finally happened to real Tom, what was he, his name? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So but, how they know he was crying wolf? He was the one crying wolf. Uh, bro, can I finish? <laughs> Look, he cried wolf so many times that at the point where a wolf really did came, you didn't believe he him. lost all credibility because he milked it. He wasn't being honest. Like, niggas was there for him. They came every time until that 10th time came. When it he was really 10 times it. he cried? No, I'm just giving an example. I'm just, I'm oh. just giving an example. That 10th time came when he really needed it, and nobody came. And the you, wolf was you, really fuck there. Fuck He ate your ass. The wolf was really there. Right. So who told the story? The wolf? Legend told. Urban legend. You know what I think? I Urban think legend. the wolf told the story to Lil Well Riding Hood when he dressed up as her grandma. Probably. Yeah. Check it out though. This is what I be saying about certain things in the LGBTQ plus community. I give y'all niggas respect. You know what I'm saying? Equal rights, y'all deserve that. You know what I'm saying? But it's like certain things, y'all starting to damage y'all own plight. Because y'all milking everything, bro. Mr. Potato Head, like, y'all starting to make a foolery of y'all plight. If we want to be I'm be brutally honest with the shit. It's not LGBTQ community make- though. But keep going. I mean, transgender <laughs> is part of that, though. I know it's media. I know it's I know it's other it's, things and shit. Yeah. But that's they're being why, used. No, but think, the only we're all why, being no, pitted against each other. The only reason why I say that is because I don't be seeing gay people speaking out. Stand up, the like truth. yo, like like I understand y'all want to include us, but y'all can't keep making this shit about everything, bro. Because y'all making it seem y'all making a foolery out of our plight. You know what I'm saying? They need to start coming out and really speaking up about this shit because yeah. people ain't gonna take. Shit, serious when y'all want to be included because y'all they trying to include y'all in everything. This is a fucking children's toy, Mister Potato Head. It it was no pur- it's no purpose behind making him non gender, cause he has a wife. Niggas forgot his he name. Was married. I know, Mister Potato yes. Head. Yeah. So why would you <clears throat> choose one and and separate a marriage? Like you know what I'm saying, like kids see that shit too. Because he is the Cleveland of Toy Story. That's why I said make that nigga pale. He's brown. 
Come on, Mr. Potato Head is like a Steve Harvey. He do look like Steve Harvey. Facts. All right. So now we make Facts. the black toy uh, in Toy Story choose to divorce his wife and then change his sex on some Orange is the New Black shit. That shit is dumb, bro. Like, they saying he... So it's like, they gearing it towards children in this way. I'm going to tell you how. I mean, obviously, it's getting yes. towards children because it's children's toy, but even with Pedophilia. the dialogue, Mr. Potato Head came out. Bro, just announce that y'all not going to address him as Mr. No More. Why you got to personify the action? Exactly. I know why, but I'm thinking from the people who don't who don't think Do this it. way. No, no, no. Why y'all personifying this shit? It's a toy. He don't really have thoughts. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm coming out as non-binary. He has a wife. So what, he divorcing his wife now? Y'all breaking up a marriage? So we not pro-marriage no more. Every other white toy is happily married or has a... It, or is happy. A, Woody got a bad bitch. Be with the umbrella? She bad. <laughs> oh, I thought he had the... So who's the cowgirl chick? The cowgirl. She, they That's his cousin? Yeah, they together. Wow. They together. So, cartoon. wow. So everybody do have somebody yeah, they then. They together. Because I was thinking yes. Buzz is the only one who's nah, like Buzz, single. Buzz got the... Uh, wow. So the, the white cowgirl. niggas, the white niggas got their white women. Well, and the like black happy... I'm there with you. The black there happy family. The one. Yeah. But it's who like, happens to be fat. The fat... Overweight yeah. black couple <laughs> right. with diabetes and hypertension and they kinda choose like, to break up nah, and change their sex. Lie. You know how they say like certain things got like um like a black symbolism. Head? No, like they certain like certain characters certain characters have like a black scent. Like like you just not, have a feeling that like they black not black in the show, but the way they talk, the sassiness. Oh. It gives her like a black feeling. You know what I'm saying? It's like what white people I'm, think is black, yeah. Right. Now that I'm remembering like the wife of Mr. Potato Head. Yeah, she, she was like a mama. That black scent yeah, she was like a vibe. mama. Right. Yeah, big mama. So I'm she, there with you with the She had the I'm, hair I'm and there everything. With you. They're like, they're like the hair, black toys makeup. Shit. Didn't she have like did she have jewelry or earrings? She had hoop earrings. Hoop I mean, earrings, yeah. right? All right, hoop gold earrings. Who wears Red that lipstick? shit? Red lipstick. Yeah. With the eyeshadow. Big lips, big yeah. lips. Oh, yeah. So it's like Come on. You might hate this and say, I think it's too deep, but. Nah, shut the fuck shit, up. Like, you think you're like, too like, small, a nigga. Lot, a lot of shit, like the black sense shit is real. You could hear it, like how niggas <laughs> copy our mannerisms, the way we talk, like our energy. They drag it like, too much. Like our sauce. Yeah, they dragging it. Oh, Lord, I'm trying to get my car keys. Right. Like, come on, bro. Right. Yeah, I'm trying, babe, I'm sauce, getting my car keys. Yeah. So, yeah, man. I mean, I've said enough. This shit, it's, it's like, why? Like, why does a toy. Need to be transgender. Like, because we're trying to fuck Barbie your children in the Barbie. asshole. Yeah. Shit crazy. Shit crazy. Also, anal sex rewires the brain. Really? Yeah. That's a fact. It's a spiritual fact. Mm. Yeah, man. That's like, why that's why slave masters use it on, on black men to break them right. in slavery. Yeah. If it didn't do that, then fuck why breaking. would we use it? If it right. was just to get my rocks off and f- come and ejaculate in this black man's a- anal tr- cavity, why would I use that? Right. To say, I'm going to brook break you. Right. And then do it in front of everybody to right. see. Come on, man. Yeah. Yeah. So now when you do that to a woman or you do that to anybody, it's like that dominance. Like imagine no, being anally raped. Dominant. Not imagine. Not not. Even. <laughs> it's the worst. Oh, yeah. All right, all right. Yeah, bro. Like listen, just listen. Someone who is anally raped, and now forcefully anally raped, and now they're in the same presence, the presence of the person that dominated them, that anally raped them. Imagine their body language. It's gonna be hard for them to get that coverage. They're though. gonna be so small they're and be cowering. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Look at them over there. Yeah, you my bitch. That's why I'm in prison. Same thing. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna make you my What's bitch. What's that movie? It's a it's an old school black movie. Oh, uh, with the three black guys with three Master black P. Guys got, yeah, yeah, yep. yep that, yeah, that young, I, that I, nigga? yeah, that light skin nigga. Oh man, that brown skin nigga. Yeah, yeah. Trusting was... trusting them white supremacists. Yeah. Well, not well. Yeah, he. Came... Yeah, they were Nazi. They had the yeah, nah, swastika yeah, nah, tattoos and shit. He came into the cell. This is off topic. He came to the cell kind of like. I guess because he was new, he yeah. tried to like, hey man, yeah, yeah, like your man. art, man, like your yeah, art. Sell, nigga ripped him the fuck. Selly, man. Hey. Hey, selly, man. And then the black nigga, it was, you know, it was cold too. One of his men was like, yo, what's up? We gotta go help. 
Yeah. Oh, he's just like, nah, he already gone, my nigga. They got him now. That's their property. I was like, damn, my nigga. That's sick. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that's that's a little off topic, but um, yeah, y'all gotta y'all gotta y'all gotta get off this this come on, but what the fuck we gonna start doing? Like we gonna start adding genders. Goku gonna be gay. Do not say that. Hey girl, Ultra <laughs> Instinct girl. <laughs> ah, <laughs> Imagine when they like powering when they powering up. Ah, <laughs> ah, <laughs> May, <laughs> ha. Come on, my nigga. We gotta, we gotta. Come on, bro. Everything has a role, and you gotta respect that role. They let this is what they mean by you give give people a, a, a inch and take the whole yard. Take them, you give them an inch, take them out. Yeah, <clears throat> but like I said, it's not the LGBTQ. It's, it's it's top LGBTQ officials in Hollywood in media that's allowing this shit because they know the more we contaminate these people's minds, that's the more toys I get to play with. Think about it. If a pimp knows that all I got to do is show women in the 11th grade this video right here. And 80% of them going to become hoes. Right. What? Yeah. Every fucking graduation year. Yeah. Fishing net. I'm ready. I'm going to show y'all these fucking videos. Yeah. That's all it is. Yeah. We're in the planetarium. Right. All right, man. Yo, I, I before we get off this, bro, I'ma mm. say this. Putting this in the ether. Mm. Yo, my wife, she gotta come correct, bro. She gotta come correct. That's all I know. Like, she gotta she gotta talk to me nice off her. She gotta talk to me nice. She gotta have that knowledge. Like she have I'm not nah, yeah. we not settling. Yeah. You not, you not, you not, uh, you not in the game of, you not in the business of having to awake somebody. Nah, you fuck that. You want them already awoken. I tried it already. Right. Tried right. it too many times. Yeah. I feel you. I'm there, I'm there too, son. I'm there too. I would love to, and they out there. But they, they out there. But like, I have them as friends <coughs> and shit. So I know how to. It, it, it's no rom- it, it's no romantic relationship. I, I got the dragon radar now. Do you? Make a copy of <laughs> <laughs> I got the dragon Make a radar copy, now. Nigga. Like they out there though. They, they it's just there. that it's I'm not gonna show you about, this wait. is it's not gonna it's just that it's not gonna show like this is her, but the interaction, yeah. You right. could configure, all right, this is her. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Been I, doing a lot of yeah, I've been doing I some. Lo- yo, I love when I love when women are like they put me on some shit like, oh, I ain't even hear about yes. that. Like, oh word? Let me do my research. When a woman put you on when a woman put me on some like mental stimulation, like conversational type shit, it's like totally different. It's like yeah. wow, I like this you shit. Be, I ain't gonna yeah, I be. I'll be like, I like this shit. Yeah, I'll be like, yo, I'm fucking with her. I like her energy. Yeah, I'm fucking with heavy. Yeah. What you doing tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, right, right. Facts. <laughs> Let's just talk. <laughs> you like checkers fries? Right. <laughs> Yo, before we get off this, but yo, fuck the yo, fuck the seamless delivery guy, that that I, that that ate that fucking <laughs> didn't deliver my my checkers fries, bro. That nigga, you know what I'm saying, he said, fuck I try to do something nice, order me and my bro some checkers fries. You he know said, what I'm saying, fuck you. He said you didn't tip and him then last time. And shit said delivered, and the nigga didn't come to my crib, bro. He said you didn't tip him last time. If you listen to this shit, fuck you, nigga. Facts. Celebrity meets. Y'all niggas is out of pocket, bro. I'm starting with that. The website to find this shit on, right? Celebrity, celebrity Meets. It is exactly what you think it is. It's Celebrity Meet, but it's not actually they meet, as far as, I, far as my understanding. Um, BiteLabs.org. Mm-hmm. Right? They got... The slogan is... Each celebrity meet, you've never experienced celebrities like this. Why do we got to experience celebrities? Just just act on the fucking TV, make music. Why the fuck we got to experience these niggas? You know what I'm saying? Um, Agenda. 
So it says, it starts with your favorite celebrities and a quick biopsy to obtain tissue samples. Right. Then it says, isolating muscle stem cells, we grow celebrity meat in our prop and our proprietary bioreactors. In the tradition of Italian cured meats, we dry, age, and spice our product into fine into fine chocolatery. No, no, into fine chart into fine chocolatery, I think. Yeah. Um Initial thoughts. Because they got James Franco on here, <coughs> Jennifer Lawrence, Kanye West, Ellen DeGeneres. I don't, I can't confirm if these particular celebrities are in cahoots with this. Like, they don't give the okay. Mm-hmm. But, like, the shit mentioned. All those names the you shit mentioned. shit mentioned tissue samples. You mentioned, the names you mentioned so far, I came across those names on, like, pedophilia lists and shit. Ellen DeGeneres. Um, except for Kanye. Except for Kanye. Ellen DeGeneres. And the Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer, Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence as well. Jennifer Lawrence, I haven't heard any, but James Franco and Ellen, yeah. And Purple uh, Express? I fuck with James Franco, yeah. He's a funny nigga. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then it says, I thought hurricane season was over. Shit crazy. So First thing I thought, initial thoughts, I was like, these niggas is playing Horichimaru, Hur- growing Hashirama cells. Right. <laughs> 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 so, right. Secondly... Well, concurrently, pedophilia. No, no, not pedophilia. Cannibalism. I was like, these niggas is this is the ushering in, ushering ushering in of planting cannibalistic thoughts into people's mind. Oh, I love Chris Brown. Oh, I, I can't wait to taste his meat. Oh my god, I like to taste how he tastes. Oh, I love I love uh Meg the Stallion. She got big old ass. I want to see what that ass tastes like. Oh, I love uh, Justin Bieber or, or whatever Disney Channel person. Well, prominent Disney Channel person now. Not saying Justin Bieber was Disney Channel, but you get what I'm saying? So these are thoughts that pop up in people. It's like rap snacks. Not saying rap snacks is detrimental, but you see certain rappers on, you going to fuck, oh, I fuck with Boosie. Like, I'm going to eat this one. I fuck with Romeo. I fuck with this person. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with Wiz. So when you see these people name here, it's like, Oh, I'm gonna try they meat. Like I try checkers, I try McDonald's, I try Burger King. What's the what's so different about me trying this? Right. But they not cognizant cognizant of that I that thought now. It's like I ate because now they're gonna be like, oh, I ate uh Megan Good last week. Right. I'm about to eat Beyonce tonight. Right. And the way they're marketing it on the website, from what I've seen, is that like they're marketing it as like this is top quality protein. That's what and I'm like, saying. These like you're getting the best of these celebrities. So like if this celebrity <laughs> is an athlete, you're gonna be getting that type of like meat based in your body. It's gonna make you operate better. And then That's they're gonna, they're gonna tell you. Them. They're gonna tell you. Yeah, it's, it's like it's like eating the heart of your enemy. You become stronger. Bullshit. And check this out. This is a play. Um, remember a couple, I think last episode or two episodes ago, um, Can't Bill Gates was like, yeah, the beef, be 100% synthetic, off beef. synthetic beef, right? So, yeah, I'm reading some of this stuff on the site, right? And it's saying, they're going to swap out meat and be like, yo, we should eat this. Right. And they're saying eco-friendly. Celebrity meat production requires less than 1% of the amount of land needed for traditional farming. So, they're, so they're already saying, look. The farming is, mm-hmm. is is taking a toll, which it is, but don't don't try to slide no shit like this. You know what I'm saying? It says currently seventy percent of world's farmland, almost thirty of the entire Earth's surface. I don't believe that. Um, Lies. Is used for raising animals. Lies. Like y'all still discovering shit in the Amazon. Exactly. <laughs> you ain't even fucking discover hundred percent of the land. Period. Right. We ain't even ten percent of the ocean. The fuck. Um, niggas always giving some fucking number, right? So, also it says Bite Labs meats are not affected by the growth hormones administrated to farm animals, nor are they in contact with pesticides or other chemicals associated with industrial farming. The nutritional content of our products can be 
rigorously controlled. Farms are dirty and animals prone to infection. Bite Labs is a clean space where we can grow safer, healthier products, right? Mm -hmm. So before I say that, they just mentioned nutrition, right? On the next page, they start explaining the history of Bite Labs and when it was created. At the end, at the bottom, it says, nutritional information coming soon. The this, this, this shit that even on the site. So we speaking all this shit about how it's nutritional good. Yeah. and how it's not it's not it's not as bad as me and how it's saving the earth. But, but we can't not, tell you how. Yeah, you ain't telling me how. <laughs> niggas is <laughs> yo, and this type of shit that niggas eat up, this type of shit that like y'all see and be like, yo, yeah, 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 yeah that's like, great, yo, oh, yeah. I want to get oh, some Jay Z meat. He's a genius. Oh, oh it, it's healthier. <laughs> how do you know? It says it. They got no traditional. Gotcha. None of this shit. And people might say, oh, that's probably a mock website. It's probably just a mock website. It's .org. The fact that, that .org, exactly. The fact that it's even in the ether, that somebody will put this much effort in. They got social media pages, Twitter, Facebook. The fact that this is in the ether. All they, all they going to be selling niggas is beyond me. There's some talks behind this. That's all they gonna be selling. Like gonna be on stocks, gonna be on me stocks. Yeah, because they so gonna definitely I don't really jump. Agree with that shit. Yeah, it's they gonna, gonna jump. Go up. Yeah, it's gonna go up. You dickheads gonna buy it. So mm-hmm. fuck. I'm gonna be. Yep. I'm gonna be like, don't get it, don't get it. I'm in on. But that. I'm gonna see I eat it anyway. Mm-hmm. I might as well see I I'm eat it and make some money. Yep. The fuck. But you got any more thoughts on this shit, man? The celebrity meat. You got any? All right. If you was a if you was a nigga who was was thinking for himself, right? Is there any celebrity? Yes. You were. <laughs> Who's a celebrity? Well, she's not a celebrity. Uh, Uchemba, I'll get her meat. Um, you, all right. Making good, right. I'll get her meat. Okay. Um, yeah, a little making good sandwich. You know what I'm saying? A little, a little making good sandwich. Saying, Kardashian single now. No, no, no. Kim, saying, no a little no, Kardashian no, no, the hero. No, 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 no. Um, um, damn, who I be? Swiss cheese. Alicia Keys still, or you respecting Swiss? Nah, I respect Swiss. Okay, I fuck with making Swiss. good married though. I know, but I don't really know her yeah, husband yeah, like that. He a uh, your pastor and stuff. Yeah, I don't really know him. Fuck you up, though. I don't really know him like that. That's, that's, cap, that's cap. That's uh, cap. I think his name is Devin. Shout out to him though. Nah, I like yeah, their I union because yeah, I yeah, I, nice. I, yeah. I had their book in my um Amazon cart about mm. how they saved and waited before um having sex. Do you know their story? How like she had a dream, like she met him one time years ago. Oh, she like a, a movie dream set or that they something. Got married, and they met later on and got fucking married. So, crazy story. Uh, I didn't know how. Yeah, that it's, part. it's crazy. But I know they she, waited. She and really shit. manifested that nigga. But, but um, um hey. if I could pick yeah. any celebrity, I don't know. It's hard. Hmm, it's hard. I ain't gonna lie. I'm probably thinking like Drake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fucking light skin. Oh, he the light. Uh, he the light skin he god. Be he the he the leader of the light skin. I, I, I get a little drink some. I don't want no fucking man meat. You, know um, you want man meat? Nah. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think. Like, who got some who, nice like? Who is like? Who looks delicious? Everybody taken. Like everybody. Exactly. Taken. Exactly. And the ones who is not taken, India they love. they they getting passed around like Lori. India love. <laughs> you know what I mean, India love. India love. I, I nah, still, yo, I'm telling you, bro, she's fighting me. Ooh, to be honest, I'm ooh, not even a I indulgent. love black women. Get the fuck out of here. She's black. I think she mixed she's up. She's light skinned. She like, nah, yeah, she's light skinned. You are not the nigga to talk on this topic. I will expose you. No, no, no. Keep going. Keep going. You I already not, exposed you. You didn't expose shit. I named Uchemba, Megan Good. I could name dark skinned women too. That don't mean I'm really interested. That's how you know niggas lying. Your your voice was high pitched. Yeah, not. whatever. But yeah, um, I'm definitely getting I me name. A, a Kim Kardashian sandwich ASAP. Soon as it dropped, my nigga, I'm getting me a, a pound. It's gonna fucking taste like silicone. Your pass a charger. Pass For your charger? phone. For your phone. Nah, the uh, laptop charger. <clears throat> but yeah, man. Shit I don't happening. know any like. Dope fire chick that I would get her. Her celebrity meat? Yeah. Six the goddess. She not celebrity though. She on It's IG. so many she women. Is... But I ain't gonna lie. I might, I might, I might give me a little Drake sandwich. <laughs> it, yo, if they I say. 
I fucking know. If they say that, yo, it makes you grow. eating this sandwich that's like, it's yeah. like a Chris Brown sandwich gonna make you dance better, gonna make you jump higher. Make you act like them. Nah, cause I, I, he a little too gangster. He, <laughs> he, 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 he too long. No, no, when I say act like them, I mean like, it makes you more like them. Oh, no, nah, I don't like nobody else. But if it's gonna make me jump higher, I eat a T-Mac. better, dance better. Tracy McGrady sandwich. Come yeah. on, you, come on. You ain't gonna win a ring, ever. <laughs> Ring what? What? You didn't marriage? Get, you didn't get married. <laughs> no reason. Like. All right, all right. The fuck? I'm gonna I'm hit 35 and 13. No. Def getting the no, MJ no, sandwich. No. no, no. I'm definitely getting the Luka Doncic. Didn't his card just sell for 4.6 million? Luka Doncic basketball card. One of like one. Segue? One of one. 2018 basketball card. Rookie. 4.6 million dollars. Huh? Yo. Gary, shout out Gary V, man. Yeah, Gary V. I, I have the to article this mentioned him too. The article was like Gary V, um, influencer Gary V. Well, motivational speaker, influencer Gary V Inventor, has been speaking has been speaking on the this wave for uh, years. Sports, sports memorabilia, sports cards, all that. Yeah, collectibles. yeah, yeah. That sports collectible miss, industry. Yeah. Nigga, that nigga, yo, I have to work with him on a business level at some point. Whether it's through a podcast, but we I have to meet this nigga and do some type of business with him, son. Yeah. This nigga, he don't miss. Now 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 I'm listening. Shout out Gary V. Now I'm listening. Now I'm listening. Four point six million. So if eating a little Steph Curry sandwich gonna make me hit a couple threes in practice, I might have to do that. But you know the only thing with that is lunchable. You got to be up on game. Like, you got to be watching these dudes from, like, high school, college, yeah, all of that. Yeah, because yeah, Luca is 2018. Is, yeah. He's what? One of how much people get coming into the league? Hundreds of dudes? Yeah. Or over 100 dudes? So, yeah, so you it's you like, following, like are you going to buy all the fucking cards? I'll, buy, I'll fuck around buy all the cards. You just got to have your ear to the... Buy all the, the cards. Mm-mm-mm. That's a good investment. Spend ten thousand dollars every fucking year on basketball <laughs> rookie cards, and then when you these niggas pop, that. you just gotta you gotta find out which one's going high in the draft and which one got good potential. Yeah, you know what I'm saying because most times they're not the top three picks. They gonna make noise. Most times they're not, it's not gonna be a sense. They gonna make noise, and you gotta get the first a, edition. Yeah. Get them rookie, to sign it rookie too. Card. Cause it was a signed card. It was too. signed. It was signed. It has six. That's what bumped it up. Cause I was like, when it is, when I read that, I was like, okay, all right. It's, it's like, like a signed glove and shit. Thing, it's like it's it priceless do, in people's eyes. Like, I get it's collectible, but like four point six million on a card. Like what is like? What you if mean? I'm a billionaire and Luca is my favorite player, that shit does oh, a lot right. for me. Right. That's like getting a Kobe jersey it's signed. Like four cents. Exactly. If not even four not cents even four for cents. my favorite entertainer. It's like point zero zero four cents to a billionaire. All right, I, I get it. I get it. I get it. What? Fact of the week? Yes. Oh, we got one more. Nah. Fact of knows. the week, right? Yep, fact of the week. All right, fact of the week? We got two fact of the week. Mm. <clears throat> All right, so the first, bo- first body. Mm. Body on the mind. First fact of the week is I'm going to speak about the... Wait, did I? I can't remember if I did. Anyway, the three body types. Hmm. Yeah. So I'm doing my what? slim, average, and fat. Mm-mm. So it's called mesomorph, endomorph, and ectomorph. These are the three body types. Mm. Now, the physical traits. I'm gonna read off some and training tips. I'm gonna read off some physical traits and training tips of each of them. So for the meso for the mesomorph, mesomorph. Uh. You know, I'ma just I'ma just read the the description. Sure. Mesomorph. You can strength train often no, I'ma read the physical trait. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the mesomorph. Wide shoulders, narrow hips, small joints, natural V taper. Training tips are train long and hard, train consistently, and do moderate cardio. I think I'm a mesomorph. Endomorph. Your biggest concern, no. Heavier bone structure, square torso, wide waist, large hips, slow metabolism. I think that's me. Nigga. 
the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Training tips. Get regular cardio workouts. Train with moderate weights and limit rest periods. And lastly, it's the ectomorph. This is you. Naturally lean, hard to gain muscle, narrow shoulders and hips, fast metabolism. Training tips for you? I think I have broad shoulders though. No, like no, for you my don't. Size. no, you, no, you don't. I, I, no, nah, you fucking I, don't. Nah, I've definitely heard that I have broad shoulders. <laughs> okay. And as far Compared as like gaining a, muscle, like I don't think I'm hard to gain muscle. I just don't work out. You know what I'm saying. But I think like when I was working out, I was gaining muscle. Like people have told me like, yo, you have a frame like like that you can gain muscle easily because you have no fat on you. Okay. Yeah, all of them can gain muscle. But the it last one said you. it's hard. To but gain you're muscle. naturally lean. That's yeah, that's the lean, point. But I don't think I can't. It's hard for me to gain muscle though. Well, when they I'm say like hard to gain the muscle, first one and the last one for me, it's like so I my work out. Are not narrow. I work. I could do push-ups for two weeks, and I could see certain changes in right. my body. Yeah, facts. Yeah, for you, but it wouldn't be as noticeable though. That's why I would say hard nah, to when gain. I was on my shit. All right. When I was on my shit, remember but, we was in Cali and we would work out and then like like like, like I would show you like yo my shit kind of okay. All right. Come on, don't, to, don't you, you have to mention that for me to remember. Don't though. flex, my nigga. All right, you don't have flex. to mention it for me. To remember. Yo, I get back on my shit and get real Arnold Schwarzenegger you on you. You ain't. Oh, okay. I think. Okay, I thought you was gonna say something else. What? What, what do I was gonna say? I don't you challenge me. Say, I get back in my bag, nigga. Listen, <laughs> I'm about that action right now at this right. point in my life. All right. All right. So some training tips for you. Avoid overtraining. Use longer rest periods and avoid intense cardio. Okay. Now, second fact of the week. Two of the most prosperous slave owners in North Carolina in the 1840s were Jewish. Were Asian brothers. Chang and Ang Bunker, mm. who were also Siamese twins for Ringling Brothers Circus. Two of their Asian sons even fought in the Confederacy for the Civil War. Wow. But yet blacks are attacking Asians. I did not <clears throat> expect that. Yeah, I know. Asians was... So I, owning I slaves. Know, owning slaves. First time owning slaves, yeah. That is my first time, like in America? What do you mean... North Carolina, bro. North Carolina. Then this their sons the fought for the Confederacy. This, wow. So where were these Asian Confederate soldiers in these war movies? Right. I've never seen one. Why weren't you, why don't Asian you Jewish why too. don't you Jewish niggas talk about the Asians owning slaves? Why don't Asians with the, all these movie productions, why don't they talk about this? Why don't they portray yeah, my first time hearing about that? And own up to this shit. We're the accountability, we're the responsibility. Accountability, what's that? Yeah, they don't speak that language. Yeah, what's that? The fuck? They don't speak that language. We in power, niggas. But yeah, that? Chang Bunker. Mm. And, and the ring ring was Chang, yeah. Ringling Brothers, Barnum and Bailey. Yeah, all them niggas, wow. we all partake That's the circus, in right? this shit together. Yeah. Yeah, they used to have, they, they probably, I'm more, they probably, they probably originated their zoos and their circuses around from having, exploitation of from blacks. black people in them and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, who wants to see a nigger hang and jerk until he's lifeless? Yeah! Yeah! Sickles. But yeah, fact of the week. Shout out to Tariq Nasheed. That's why I got... Um, he actually put me on to Chang and um, Ang Bunker. That shit crazy. But... This is the post of them. Because Siamese, so remember they Bitch they niggas. attached to each other and shit. I mean, so when he getting pussy, wait, I gotta be here. Were they Chinese? When I'm getting pussy, I gotta be. He were gotta they be. There. You said Asian. Were they Chinese? They look Chinese. Asian. It said Asian. Okay. They, I mean, all Asians. Look Chinese. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, all y'all basically Siamese. Said Asian. The whole country Siamese. <laughs> all them niggas. Uh, what? That's it. That's it. That's it, man. Yo, take we we dropped a lot of gems on this episode. A lot of gems. So we usually take the do info though. And do what you will with it. You know yeah. Do what you will. There you have it. Thank y'all for listening to the episode of the Buzz Podcast.